going to work again on some technique pieces and also some strength pieces. And we'll do that twice a week, so like Tuesday and Thursday. And then on Saturday or Sunday, you can do some additional work. For our technique, we are going to do false grip swings on the rings and work with that hollow arch that we need to be able to swing ourselves up into that muscle up. And then for the strength piece, we're going to be working on some more wrist strength with some wrist holes on the bar. And we'll do some core work with some rolling V-ups and coupling that with Superman holds. And then we're going to do some pull unders. So a little bit more of your, a lat heavy kind of pull up. So let's get started. swings on the rings ideally you want to hold that false grip when you swing so that you can build up what it feels like to hold that swing for getting yourself up into the muscle up or if you're linking your muscle ups and also to start getting our body used to the the shape it needs to be in when we want to do a kipping or a swinging muscle up if you cannot do the false grip hold on the rings don't worry about it just hold them normally and swing from there and focus a little bit more on the swing. If you can't do the false grip hold, then go ahead and do that. So for the swing, we want to open up our shoulders and then tuck our pelvis into a hollow arch like this. And if you can hold into that false grip, Grab the top of the rings, and you can see how my hand is wrapped over the top of the ring. Grab the top of the ring and rotate down. And then you can drop yourself into that swing. We're going to work our way up from one second to two seconds to three seconds and we'll rotate through the movements. What we'll end up doing is a one second wrist hold followed by a one second pull under and then we'll roll across the gym with our V up Superman holds and then we'll come back and we'll do the wrist hold for two seconds, the pull under for two seconds and then we'll roll across the gym one more time and then we'll move to three seconds and three seconds and one roll across the gym. And we'll keep following that pattern until we've done three to five rounds. It'll look like this. For the wrist hangs, we are going to grab the bar right here where our wrist bends and we're going to hold without touching it with our fingers. So you're wrapping your fisted hand over the top of the bar and you're putting a little bit of pull on your shoulders and then you're lifting. like that. You can make it a little more difficult by putting yourself into an L-sit while you hold yourself up onto the bar. What you want to do with these wrist holds is go for one solid second and then once you can do that successfully then go to two seconds and then three seconds and work your way up in time. And you can always start wherever you feel like you have the most use of strength. So perhaps you want to start with five seconds and work your way up to 10 seconds. It depends on where you are with your strength.
For the pull unders, rather than pulling to this side of the bar, like you do with a pull up, we're going to pull under this way. When you pull under, you're really bringing in those, those lats. Well, the pull unders will look like this. I have a little bit of a wider grip than I would on a pull up. Ideally, you wanna pull the bar up until you can get it as close as you can to the back of your neck and the upper part of your shoulders. If you can pull yourself all the way up, great. If you can't, pull as high as you can and then hold for a second and then come down with control. Now let's move on to the rolling V-ups and Superman holds. Pretty simple. You're just gonna lay down on the floor and roll. And as you roll, you're going to do a Superman when you're on your belly and a V up when you're on your back. So it will look like this. Ideally, if you can roll without using your hands to push against the ground, it's gonna force you to use more of your core. But sometimes you need to push a little bit against the ground to get that first rollover. Work toward not having to push yourself against the ground in order to do it. So in the end with this strength piece today, what we're going to have is our wrist holds, our pull unders, and our rolling across the gym V-up supermans. We're going to do three rounds, maybe up to four or five rounds if you have time for that. So that's the goal there. And then with our muscle up technique practice, when we're doing the swings, we want to do five sets of five swings. Take a little bit of a break in between each set so that you can get all rested up and get back up on the rings and give it your best effort. So five sets of five swings, followed by your three to five rounds of your strength piece. programming for the week of week four we're going to add a little bit of extra work on Saturday and or Sunday depending on how much time you have to give today we're going to do one minute of a plank with your plank you want to have a nice straight back rather than something that is swayed or where your butt is up in the air so one good solid minute of a plank and if that is too easy for you then add a little bit of difficulty by raising your arm and leg out and holding for a count. Once you have your one minute of a plank, I want you to do one minute of around the clock for wrist mobility. So what that looks like is you put your hand on the wall and you get your palm nice and flat and then you pull back to get a bit of a stretch in this area and then you move it to a new position. Now I'm facing up with my fingers. And then you move it to another position until you feel a stretch. And then you can move it to a fourth position and bring a stretch in here. Experiment with other positions that also give you a nice stretch in your wrist and your upper arm. So far you have one minute of plank, one minute of wrist mobility, and then we're going to follow that with five chest to bar and five dips. So try and go full range. Go down as deep as you can and come up as straight as you can. If doing dips is a bit too hard for you, just free like that, 
then add a band in so that you can get that full range of motion. For the Saturday and Sunday piece, we'll do one minute of plank, one minute of around the clock wrist mobility, five dips, five chest to bars, and we'll repeat that circuit two to three times, depending on how much time you have to give to the programming. And that's it for week four. Have a great week working on all this technique and we'll see you next time.